In September 2011, Tony Ball, the leader of Basildon Council, stated that he would be the one to forcefully evict traveller families from Dow Farm when others before him had failed. He staked his career and upwards of £18 million of public money. What he failed to acknowledge was that this time the travelling community would not be standing alone and that the whole world would be watching. It's Sunday evening and after a 10-year legal battle to save Dale Farm, residents and their growing number of supporters now gather and prepare for what Bazard and Council have said will be a forceful eviction. In a final attempt to remind the world that this is a community of families, photographs of some of the youngest residents are taped to the front gate. Outside, 100 bailiffs and 500 police officers from all over the country are on standby. Dale Farm goes into lockdown. I didn't actually think it was going to resort to this, really and truly. Never ever thought in a million years. If you look around you can actually see people's lives are ruined. Their homes is getting, well as they think, their homes is getting destroyed, their livelihood to try and destroy that. Do you know what pisses people off as well is that they might take away our homes but they can't take away travellers because we're, we're going to be here forever no matter what they do they can't push us underneath the carpet we're not going to disappear overnight it's so not going to happen no matter what they say no matter what they do it's not going to happen and this is not about green belt land because everyone knows this is not green belt it is brown belt and it's about being prejudiced and don't know anything about us when people actually come here, they actually realise that we're not like they say we are. Absolutely not like it. It's just terrible. My friends has come down, had a good cry over the gate. Oh, it's just terrible. Hello, Hazel. I feel like Hello. Oh, we had to prison ourselves in our homes. Literally prison ourselves in our own homes. We don't do that. It's just absolutely terrible. What would you say about the people that have come down here, though? To help? Yeah. Thank you very, 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 very much. On behalf of me and every everybody that actually lives here, thank you. But I would love from the bottom of my heart if you, none of you put yourself in really harm's way. Because I don't think we could actually cope with all that if someone actually got hurt. Because that's not what we want at all, people to get hurt. We just like the point to be made and just make the point without people actually getting really hurt over it. It's not worth it. I know we would like to keep our homes, but we'd like people to keep their lives as well. Ah, it'll be a bit of fun tomorrow. The government will waste £18 million, £2 million on legal fees, £2 million on Dell Farmers 22, the Common Ground Report £18 million a year. It'll be a bit of fun for taxpayers. Taxpayers will keep funding all this operation, depriving children of education, health needs. It's a crazy situation in the 21st century, isn't it? What, do you, what, what would you say to the amount of support you've got down here? Fantastic, to the people? fantastic. I'm very, very, very impressed indeed. Men, women, and children on board, and I'm so impressed with them, it's unbelievable. I am so happy to see the turnout, really am. So everything here, the people working tireless through the night, through the day, through the night, through the day, solidly. I can't understand how to get the energy from them. I'm really, really very impressed with the people. I wish I could help them. I wish I could help them. and The, uh, the, uh, the people have been marvellous, really have. It's I don't know what to say. It's an emotional night, isn't it, it is, really? It is. Tomorrow should be make it or break it.